India's foreign exchange reserves have fallen by about $45 billion in the last eight months from a peak of $642 billion in September 2021. At the end of April this year, the RBI had forex reserves of just under $600 billion, which are enough to finance a year of imports if the need arises. The fall in forex reserves started during the week ending March 11 when the rupee hit its all-time low. Now, a variety of factors have caused this fall. But before we delve deep into them, it is important to understand what constitutes India's foreign exchange reserves and why have these reserves increased at a fast pace in the last two years. There are essentially three components of the foreign exchange reserves. These are foreign currency assets, which form over 80% of the total forex reserve portfolio. Then there are gold reserves and there are special drawing rights of the International Monetary Fund. Let's understand these components one by one. The foreign currency assets include investments of the central bank into bonds of other countries like the United States. India invests heavily in US Treasury bills. Around two-thirds of India's foreign currency assets are invested in dollar-denominated securities and bonds, and the rest are invested in securities denominated in euro, pound, Australian dollar, and Japanese yen. These forex assets are also invested in deposits of other central banks and some commercial banks overseas. The foreign currency reserves also include RBI's investment in gold, which insulates the country from any external shocks as gold is considered to be a safe haven. So why does RBI need to accumulate these foreign exchange reserves? As explained earlier, forex reserves are foreign assets of a country held in liquid form by a country's central bank as insurance against financial shocks. RBI uses them for backing the exchange rate and using them in case capital flows into India are not able to finance the current account deficit, which is the difference between India's export and import of goods and services. The increase in India's forex reserves in the last two years is an outcome of an increase in foreign direct investment along with foreign investors pouring money into Indian stocks and bonds. This had started when Reliance Geo and other Indian companies had started raising capital abroad in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic as credit was cheaper overseas. Another reason for higher reserves was lower domestic consumption during the pandemic which reflected well in our imports when India witnessed a current account surplus. India's exports kept up and therefore there were more dollars coming into India than going out. This coincided with low crude oil prices which further helped the current account. With all this, it will be a lot easier to understand why the reserves have been falling. There are four major reasons for it. Firstly, the RBI has been selling dollars from its coffers to prevent sharp depreciation of the rupee amid surge in global crude prices as we've been witnessing. India's trade deficit has been at a multi-year high because of rising imports, whether it is gold, crude or other fossil fuels. This along with revival in domestic demand, which has increased the demand for dollars. The second major reason has been the outflows from the capital markets, which led to dollars going out of the country. Foreign portfolio investors have pulled out roughly $20 billion so far from the country in 2022. The third reason has been the risk aversion. After the Russian invasion of Ukraine and its impact on global economy, foreign investors have been pulling out of the emerging markets, including India, and moving to less riskier assets like the dollar and gold. Lastly, and this is slightly a technical reason, the RBI has conducted swap transactions in the currency markets that has used up around $15 billion of the foreign exchange reserves. This is Shubham Batra for The Print. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.